part. Yule gives him the nod, you know, he got his hit in. Maybe you should kill the fairy thing. It's uh, currently Ember's turn. 11 hit points. Are you willing to bounce your balls off his face now, Yule? Do wow. what to what to his face? That just took an unexpected <laughs> turn. Yes, it did. He's the one that said it last time that he wasn't willing to bounce his balls off his face. Please, don't ever bring that up again. <laughs> yeah, that was very much unexpected. I'm going to take a five-foot step forward uh, to where the monster was. For so. these sessions. Oops, I forgot about that. You said it last time. Why is everyone making it sound like I was horrible? I don't you're remember it. it. Because you're the woman saying it, that's why. Oh, shush you all. I don't remember it. He said it first, so there. Well, I don't uh, remember it, so I can't call him out on it. Well, I hope you guys are happy you made me blush. Um... Yeah, I have a feeling so. you've said much worse things without blushing. <laughs> um, the I don't know if I should try to burn the cards again. I guess I will. Going to go for another um, displacement. I mean, not displacement. Dimensional anchor. Yeah. Just hit with the, uh, hopefully hit with the touch attack this time. First, do 31. that. Before... Oh, that's a, this well, is a nat twenty. Did she? Did she hit with the touch attack? That's a nat twenty. I got a nat twenty so I... for a thirty-one. Okay, so yeah. I now, think hold he... on, hold on. Just I think she may have hit. Hold on, I will play this card for you, and don't you forget that to add two d six to your plus eighteen. So roll d twenty. Plus 18, plus 2d6. And hopefully this time you will become a spell penetration. Wait, what is yes, this for? spell resistance. Huh? What is this card for? That, so she can add 2d6 to her spell penetration roll. Yeah, okay. so it'll be this one, and then 2d6. So plus eight. 8 plus 23, so that'd be 31. Okay, you just see it dissipate again. I what? It fails to penetrate his spell resistance. His spell Are you part, kidding me? His spell resistance is higher than 31? Holy sh... I am looking at it. It is literally no, I, higher I, than that. We believe you, Sammy. We just can't believe it's so high. Neither yeah. can I. We're, yeah. But this guy's this basically ridiculous. made to say no to all, spell, all spells. I am really tempted to do a flying tackle, but it, it can dimensional door away from me even while I'm holding on to it, so that's the problem. Yeah. Um, um, I, yeah, I was thinking about that last time, but it it could go even if I'm holding on to it, and it could take me with it. Or I'm pretty sure you're aware, here, your so. characters are aware of this, that he can plane shift at will. Yeah, that's why we're trying to stop it. Yes. But you also should point, I should also point out, this is his home that you're attacking. So we pretty much just have to. Well, he he's evil, leave. and he tried That's to. He all. wanted us killed and replaced me with a fucking doppelganger. And Joe's turn. Actually, you don't know how much of that was his plan or someone else's. Well, we know he's involved somehow. Yes, you do. That's all you need to know. Right. That's, yeah. For me, yes. That's good enough for me. Thirty-four and eighteen. 34 hits, but 18 does not. And I didn't make the hit the percentage. Nope. So you just phase through him. Actually, I think that's actually an accurate, inaccurate description. I think actually it's something else. If and I'm the in Kuri a... had a 23 to hit him. 23 does not hit. With her dagger that does a D2 by minus 2. Does not hit. Okay, so saying you face the room it actually is not an accurate description. It's more of like where you thought he was, he's actually in a different place. Okay. Paul, it's your move. Of course it is. Um, 
Okay. Uh, you are will not be within thirty feet of him. I I will be right here, won't I? Yes, but that's still not within thirty feet of him. Remember, he's flying up in the air. Well, yeah, but he, oh, he can, yeah, go, he can see it. But I don't have to be underneath him. I mean, there, there can be a straight line. Doesn't have to be. I don't have to be thirty feet directly under him, though. Oh, someone's got to do math. So. so I'll move to here. He's twenty feet away from thirty-five feet up in the air with a fifty-degree angle. Or you, no, I'll, move, I'll move to here, and then I should How be with that. that I should definitely, be? I should definitely be within range there. You will have to be basically right there to be within thirty feet. Bullshit. Yes, move that, to right there. He is ge- ge- geometry. Yes, he's. I moved the right. I moved the right there, and I'm gonna fire one arrow. So I actually want to try to hit this fucker. Shoot him he's in the my tank. dodge guy. And he's my dodge guy. Oh wait, I just realized he's 35 feet up in the air. You have to be within 30 feet. You won't be within range unless you're flying. Okay, how about this? The edge of the pool. Yeah, I'll stand right, right here, and then I'll be within thirty feet. I wouldn't get in the water for real. I'm not, I'm not sure. getting in the water. I'm standing on the edge. Yeah. Yes, he can. So I'll stand on. I'll make. I don't know if I take one of my balance, I get an eighteen. Now, let's see. For the hell of it! Wow, I rolled a nineteen, so I got a thirty-six in my balance check to balance on the edge of the pool. As I take my shot. I will allow you just because of that third balance. You okay. are barely within range. Okay, so I'm going to roll one attack, and hopefully i roll 19 again. I rolled an 18, and that, I'm not doing many shots. I'm fighting one arrow, so 18 and 16 is 34. 34 hits. I'm going to roll... Hot. If I roll 1 through 50, I hit. Okay, you're doing low to hit. Yeah. I got a 10, so I hit. Okay. And he's going to take only, okay, this plus 6. I'm only using one arrow. Uh, 6, I rolled a 1 and a d8. So 7, 13, and 9 is 22 damage. Okay. Okay. And then I come back to here. He's my dodge guy. Okay. He flies me. another five feet up. Cocksucking motherfucker. He doesn't okay. like you. And he you don't like him. You shot him in the butt with an arrow. He automatically goes up five feet. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> At least I hit him. Yes, you did. But now I believe you do have to be within 30 feet for your um, skirmish tag. Oh, I do. And don't worry, I will, because guess what? Someone's going someone's gonna to cast a fly spell on me, and I'm going to go up there and be right in his face. He's how far up now? He's 40, 40 feet, feet up. 35 feet? He's 40 feet. So it be 80. Wait, 80? No, I'm doing math. Hold on. The so... fuck? Oh! Oh, I just realized something. Oh, shit. Damn it, he's still too close. (laughs) Will he be range over here? Yes. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Well, that's a bummer. (laughs) He was going to cast a spell. I like when you talk to yourself. I find it very entertaining. Shut up. He was going to cast the same ice spell as before, but... He's getting in character. He's screaming at himself in his own mind, just wondering what the hell he's supposed to do. Die, or leave and how, never come back. How far is your, um... How far do you have to be from someone, Paul? To get the maximum damage, I have to be within 30 feet. Okay. But at, I think, at some point, I get... At some point in my prestige class, I think it's at level 6 or 8, I get ranged precision, which means I can do it out to 60 feet, and that's going to be awesome. So, no, wrong thing. I want this one. Equal to. Ah, damn it. Shit. He's just gonna cast magic missile on the guy who just shot him. So freak that. Come on, Sammy, be a man. Say fuck that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. So he just just shot you with magic missile for seventeen. Okay.
There it is. Uh, 51 minus 17 is 34. Okay. Now it's Ember's turn. Joe, and I ask you, Nelvin, if you can cast a fly spell on me so I can get closer and do more damage to him. He doesn't like you. <laughs> then again, the you biggest threat so far Joe. has been him. Joe's been the biggest threat so far. <laughs> That's because I'm a crack fucking shot. Maybe you should start bringing one of those little one-person tramplings with you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that'd be... That'd be something else. I mean, you keep running back and forth every time you take a shot anyways. You know, add in a little trampoline, make it interesting, do a little backflips off it as you're shooting. With my tumble and balance being so high, I probably could. I could uh, probably just start putting range and perform trampoline mat or trampoline skill and just start doing it, yeah. It's not a bad idea. tell me the square root of 1,825? Say it again. The square root of 1,825. My calculator does Roots. Neither do I. I. Yes, it does. So 42. You have to be within 30 something feet. Square so root where of you that. Are, where well. you are right now, you're about 42 and a little over a half um, feet away from him. So if you move up to the edge of the, the thing, you should be able to hit him uh, using the Pythagorean theorem. So move back to where you were on the, the edge of the thing, you can hit him anyway. <coughs> Nerd. <coughs> Nerd. <coughs> He's Fuck 40 off. feet up. <laughs> I'm just... Doesn't matter. It's A squared plus B squared equals C squared for the Pythagorean theorem using geometry. And because you're not hitting him from the total sum of A plus B, you're hitting him at the angle of where you are. So it would be the, um, with a 90 degree angle, you're hitting him of the length of the diagonal from where it. you are to him. So. I ban that math. <laughs> That's why I say I have a problem sometimes with how... Um, it's your move as well. That's why I have a problem with um, how um, D&D is versus the real world. So, because well, like, like real world says you should be able to do something, but D&D doesn't always make it so. With like this, we... I know for sure you can hit him if you move up a few feet, because you're only about he needs to be within 30 feet of range. He is about 5, yep. 6 feet. That Standing on that thing will give him another foot, which means 7 feet. He would still need about another few feet of range before he can hit. No, right now he's 15 feet away from the edge, or from where the guy is. So if he moves up 10 feet, that should be able to um, let him hit it. He's 40 I can do the math again away. if you want. No, right now, where he is... Think of it as a triangle, Sammy, okay? It is a triangle with a 90-degree angle up, okay? <laughs> Mother of God. Yes, I can picture it. So if he moves 10 feet up, that shortens the side, right? So he moves here, and then he will be 5 feet away. So 5 times 5 is 25, because it's the square root... It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So b25. How did I get crumbs on my keyboard? Um, hey, she, plus, you know what? At this, let's be. I mean, just to simplify this, unless I get a fly spell on me, I'm not going to be able to hit him at his current level. I'm just going to leave it at that. He's too far from the ground. Yeah, I mean that's probably just the easiest way to say. It. I know what you're getting at, but that's just the easiest way to say it. Yeah. So what you need is a ten foot long arrow, so you have a reach weapon. Hmm. Can you aim a pro- that properly? It comes by like what a minus four to hit with that kind of. Weapon? There's no. It wouldn't. That wouldn't matter, Sammy. He's just. You'd still be slightly off. You're forty feet away. So if you're up another five feet, stay in the water, then you could absolutely hit him. Okay, it's now the enemy's turn. He takes a gun and kills himself. <laughs> he just kills uh, himself. Win. What? Um. Look. I very, very rarely can actually use geometry in real life because I hate one because I hate math and two, I am determined to use it whenever I can because my teacher always said, "Oh, you'll absolutely use this in real life." Every time I bitched and said I hate geometry, I'm never going to use this in real life. You and so the few times I can more. actually use it in real life to make it not worthless, oh, no, I'm going to do it. Damn it! 
you know you should bitch at it more. It's completely worthless. <laughs> no, all he has to do is stand in the water and he... He's... I proved that, mathematically. He so does not have enough not range. If, literally, if he stands in the water and reduces it to five feet away, he absolutely can hit him. He'd be 35 feet away. <laughs> Because the water is actually lower than the ground level. Five and five. He can hit him. No, um, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care if anything that says. It <laughs> makes my brain hurt. The guy already killed himself. All right, you, really. fine, I'll cast fly on <laughs> no. kill just so you guys stop complaining. I'm tempted just well, to no, say I he mean, killed if... himself. <laughs> He's got a point. I mean, if he's 35 feet up, I have to... I can't... There's nowhere I can stand on the ground and not be elevated to where I can hit him. That's the point he's trying to make, and that's true. A diagonal is shorter than straight line over. No, it's not. The straight path will always be closer than the diagonal line. No, because if you take a straight path, you have to go then up a triangle. Straight path would be straight up, and he still wouldn't be close enough. And I can't tell Silver. I would. So that's my turn casting Fly on Ezekiel. Thank you very much. I'm surprised you haven't cast Dimensional Anchor again. Well, with his spell, I would have, but he wants. He wants Fly just so he doesn't complain, so. No, that's not why I want it. I want it because so I can actually get up there and do the most possible no, damage. No, I'm saying I'm casting fly just so you don't complain. Okay. Also, okay. I'm pretty sure this is round six of that thing's a life for Joe. Yeah. Would be the last round. Wait, yeah, next round would be the last round it has anything to do, right? Right. Okay, so, Joe, what are you going to do? I'm up. Please kill this. Uh, please kill the guy so Paul can basically have d- done that for nothing. <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> You're welcome. The point of giving him fly is so he doesn't bitch. Killing him would just make him bitch more. Who who is bitching? That's the part I'm not understanding. Thirty five and twenty nine. Twenty nine does hit. So you what is? Both those get past his displacement. Ah. Yes, it is displacement, which a dimensional anchor will not affect. Twenty-two for the first hit. If you cast dimensional anchor while flickering, does it automatically hit if you bypass spells, or do you have That's to? Right, still I should have been asking chance? for your your spell should have been uh, of triggered his displacement. I should have been triggering that. That's why I'm asking, can does it bypass that or does it do you still have to roll for the displacement? You still have to repl- roll for displacement. Seriously, that is like fucking Any and all attacks that affect him, he, he, you have to roll for that. But it's not an attack, it's a spell effect. You st- the attack if it's, uh, if it's an attack roll, you have to roll for it. Yeah. Because you're trying to target somebody. Yeah. AoE effects will still hit him no matter what. But your thing that you are pointing a beam, essentially a beam at him, to try and hit him. Wow! So it's pretty much useless trying to cast it unless you can catch him by surprise. You can basically hit his touch AC, no problem. But he has two layers of defenses. Yeah, it's pretty much useless. But it's you oh, may. I wish I'd known that. Yeah, but you still have it's a chance. Just a wasting time. You still have a chance. Made the fight yeah, really. Yeah, but I could have just been casting like magic missile the whole time and hitting him. You could have. Because I could just been smack him. It's part Paul's turn well, now. Well, yeah, but in his defense, we didn't, we don't know what spell he has, though. No, you don't. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have seen him flicker in and out, so we do know he's using that. But... Only when he gets um actually directly hit does it actually uh, trigger. Yeah, but he's been hit a couple times by the other stuff. So oh, I get what you're saying. Same. Yeah. We've seen it being used because Yule's been hitting him the whole time. I. I out of game didn't know didn't know that it would have triggered it. That's I didn't, what I'm saying. If I I wish I'd known because I would have known it. 
was sent. I actually forgot it was supposed to trigger. <laughs> you said it's my turn right now? Yep. Okay. Oh, another 50 didn't kill him? No. Okay. I assure you if he still lives. Um. Oh! He has this item on him! Jesus Christ. My turn? Yes, it is. Sammy remembered something useful he could do. Quick, kill him. Okay, I... I move up ten feet, so I'm, I'm within range, and I will... Uh, do I want to... Yeah, I better save it since I'm down to two cards, because I... <clears throat> come off the use one on someone. Um, fly up, and I will try to hit him with two arrows. Oh, boy. I got a 18 to hit him. Nope. Okay. Then I go back down. If I go down... So get back to the top. Side. That way Damn you can it. still hit him. Well, I can still fly. I get good maneuverability. I'll be fine. Why would does he yeah, have this then, item? If you move to the side, you'd still be using your thinking. You'd still be in range to hit him the next time without having to... Okay, I just move side to side then, just to... Okay, he has an item on him which would trigger if it ever actually ever came into play. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty bullshit. What was that? He cut out entirely in, until the end where it's that in, if it ever came into play. Yeah, he, ha he has an item on him which would trigger if it ever came into play, but he, it's never came into play. Well, then don't tell us about it. Well, you don't know what it is. It can activate well, on your yeah, next exactly. action. Okay, but well, he is going to... Um... surprise me. Damn it, where does it tell me this? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, he's just going to... He's going to pop a potion. Oh, joy. Good. That's the standard, at least. Yeah, that's a standard action, and... Um, I'm trying to think of the oh, tackle yeah, opportunity. We can't provoke... Drinking a potion does, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like, is there uh, like a concentration or anything, or just a straight up attack? But, it, but I'm not understanding what's the thing that's pretty general. Like, can he? He drinks the potion. We can hit him. He can move and pull the potion out as he's moving range and making it, and then he can drink it. Yeah, that's what you want. But he's levitating. Yeah. Levitating. Go up. But he has to move out of range. In range. To avoid the attack of Bob. That, no. Okay, so I'm That's reading this that if he gets hit, he can make a check to see if he can still actually do it. Okay. But I'm seeing if he wishes to do that because you can direct the attack directly at. Resistance of more. He moves ten feet directly up and triggers an attack of opportunity because he's not going to risk you destroying his potion. How tall is the room? Eighty feet. He's oh, currently okay. now at fifty feet. And how far up did you just move him? Ten more feet. He's now at fifty feet up. Okay. Thirty-five to hit. It hits. Yeah, because as he's moving away. And that misses. Uh, what about your little th your friend thing? Did his Yul's ball hit him? Yeah, what's its attack? Uh, what was the attack for the the ball thing? That thing right there, your summon. Uh, I got a 19. 19 does not hit. Okay. And now, how much does a this spell do? I mean, this item do? You're... There we go. I think it's like that much, but I can't be certain. Okay. Minimum cast at level 4... Freaking heck, I think it's like five. 
for it depends on what sp what spell it is. You're serious. Then the yeah, minimum cash level of five. So it'd be three D eight plus five. Can we target his potion to try and shatter it before he drinks it? During the attack of opportunity you can, but he moved out of range before he drank it. Now she can't do that in an attack of op, you can only do it during your turn. You can't make special attacks on your on an attack of op. I just read it, it said yeah. you could. On an attack of op? If a character fails to I know you can on a rape. I mean, an enemy may direct an attack of opportunity like against the potion or oil container rather than against the character. Oh. I the successful attack okay, destroys this cool. destroys I item. Didn't know. I didn't know. But the only one that can do that is the people in melee range, right? Correct. Yeah. It, he moved, he took his action, cool. he does not have any swift action, so he just straight up um, ends his turn. At 50 feet in height. After moving up and drawing the potion, can he still drink it on that turn, or does he have to stand there and wait? He moved, then he drank time? it. Yes, he can drink it on that turn. Yeah. Yeah, Mike always made me take it out and move as the two actions, like, and then wait to drink it the next time. You can draw a potion as part of a move action. Yeah. At that point, it's really about where it is. I mean, if it, it's like you have your potions buried in your backpack to keep people in town from trying to pinch them off, you know, but I mean, there are small vials which you can keep in a belt pouch and make it easier to get to. It's all about... I just remembered, you yeah. still have that injector I, I did that thing. with the handy hover, so I yeah. would just have it right there to take. Yeah, it's all about where they're located. Yeah. You're moved, Amber. He still counted as a separate thing just to do that, so I had to ask. Um, I will just hit him with a stupid magic missile then, because... Okay. I'm obviously never going to be able to hit him any other way. Um. Okay. The magic missiles fly at him and hit an, a barrier. Oh, he's got shield. Damn. Plus, well, magic missile will get spell resistance. Does it? Which triggers yeah. first, the shield or the spell resistance? The shield. Okay, yeah. So it's you, he, you there's, there's no it, the, the the spell can't hit him, so there's no so the resistance is it's not applicable. Yeah, that's a good point. So yeah, it just straight up disintegrates against the shield. How come? Um... Because he forgot uh, to do it against his great. His, uh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. What? Oh, you forgot to ha have that work when his um, companion was using that. Oh yes, I did. It, that's right. Yeah, that's always like. Wait, I thought there wasn't a, a shield because of that, but um. I think all the talking is distracted him. I have them all written down in chat, but I just don't remember everything he has off the top of my head. Uh, okay, I will draw one then. Then I guess it's the end of my turn. So. Paul, your move. <clears throat> I'll move up ten. Uh, I'll move up ten feet, so I can get within point blank range and try to put two arrows into him again, and hopefully I hit this time. Okay. There we go. That's a twenty-nine to hit his AC. That hits. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll do lows again. That I hit. Wait a minute. It's supposed to be Joe's turn. What? It was Ember, then we just skipped Joe. <laughs> oh, okay, well... I got an 8 on my... So I do... So when it's my turn, if he's still up, I do hit. Okay. 27... Move up to his height, get my one attack, 27 to hit. 27 hits. Hits. Um, Paul, roll me a d100 in chat. Huh? Wait for damage? Yeah. Bro, uh, D100 to see if the displacement triggers or not. Yeah, I got a 99. No, for Paul. I got an 8. That means Berg. it hits, I believe? Yeah, I rolled, I rolled lows to hit, and I got an 8. Okay, so what's your damage for you? Um, uh, 7 and 12 is 19... Plus 6 is 25, plus 9 is 34 damage. 34? Yeah, because I'm doing, Wait, two I'm doing arrows many shots. Two arrows. 
I do. It's three d eight because it's two d eight from the two arrows, one d eight from my class feature, and then two d six skirmish plus an additional twelve for strength, magic, and point blank range. Okay. And bye bye fairy so thing. 30, so thirty four as two arrows hit him. And now it's his turn. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. You don't fuck with me. I'm a crack shot with this bitch. Mm, he could try that item. No, wait. Uh, spells. Not items. Yeah, he's gonna cast an old favorite. Uh, let me pull up the damage again just so I remember prefer exactly what it does. There it is. Okay. Oh, wait. He would know about that. Nah, he's just still gonna do it. <laughs> Seven bludgeoning damage. To me? Or someone else? And four cold damage. He just cast the same spell again on both... on Silver and Paul. I'm... So you ignore feet. the bludgeoning, but you take four cold damage. I'm 20 feet up. Does that still keep us both within range? It's a tire cylinder. Oh, okay. You said uh, how much damage altogether? Four, 11? because your stone skin blocks the bludgeoning. I don't, I don't have stone skin. Only those two do. Okay, so it's a total of 11 for you, but a 4 for okay. Ember. All right, uh, the spell points would be... It's fourth level, so seven? Yeah. 31... 24. There we go. Ember, it's your move. Um... I'm going to... It'd help if I put my mic down by my face, huh? Yes. Uh, I'm going to use the Wand of Endure... Er, sorry... Using the wand spiritual weapon um, that I have. Make a um, use wand check. If it's under spell, that she doesn't have to. I don't think she has uh, that kind of spell. What spell I don't is have it? Spiritual weapon. It's oh. cleric and warlock, uh, but we have a spell for it. So, or we have a. So use me a use magical device check. Alright, flipping through my stuff. I'm not sure if it wastes a charge if she fails or not. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You fail. 15? 15? 15's not enough. You need a 20. My dice are to kill me today. See, it's not me, it's your dice. I would also like to that point out... That doesn't mean out, you're not trying to kill me, too. It just makes my dice suck. I would also like to point out that um, you should be running low on assay spell resistance. How? Several rounds have gone by. Okay, she gets it for eight rounds. Yeah, it's only been like two. Since I cast it. It's been like five. No, I was casting... I was casting cast Dimensional spells. Anchor like three times before I cast the Essay Spell Resistance, remember? Let's see, you cast Dimensional Anchor, then you try it again, then you cast mm -hmm. Fly, and then it's this turn. That's four uses so yes. far. No, I only tried the Dimensional Anchor once with the Essay Spell Resistance. I remember twice. Mm -hmm. She only did it once. Yeah. Yeah. She cast I, it when she came into the room. She gave it another try. And, and then, then the I third cast, time, it asked a spell resist before she cast it. Yes. And then I did fly after that. It's currently Joe's turn. Twenty-two. 33 does not, and 22 to hit? 22 does not hit. But 33 does. For another... 23 damage. 23. Oh, 
wait, that spell should be um, dissipated by na right now. Ooh. Paul, it's your move. That hits, still. Gotta remember that. Paul? Oh, sorry. Um, I don't have to move, because he didn't rush. Uh, he did, so I'll just move ten feet up. Uh, hopefully I hit again. I'll try two arrows. And I missed with an 18 armor class. Nope. Okay. So you can fight past that. I still miss one. Okay, what. so that spell is gone, so that's actually what's been keeping him alive. So he may wish to recast it. But considering he's so low, it may not save him more than another round or two. Hmm. Now he's just going to ignore that spell, so he's just going to straight up try and kill people. And... Oh, damn time. What? Get in there and mix it up. Do some damage. Kill us. He's been cast... You know what? Fuck yeah, that. I know. He's casting... I know. <laughs> he's casting magic missile on you again. Yeah, that'll work. Because I have no resistance or anything to do about that. That's just gonna... He's also empowering this magic missile. You don't tell me that. No, I'm joking. He does 18 damage. Oh, 12? Oh, that's actually... Did you, uh, so empowered means, okay, so it does 18, because you empowered it, you said, right? Yes. So, yeah, 18. His last use of it, too. Oh, good. Because I'm down to five hit points now. Yeah, and if he lives the next round, he's going to kill you. Yeah, I mean, possibly. I have to roll, hopefully I can roll well enough to pass the fortitude for half, and at least stay unconscious. Eh, who knows. If he rolls max damage, I, I don't think that. Call on Elvin. I could use a heal, please. Ember's turn. Don't you have potions? He does have potions. You know what? I probably do. Actually, yeah, I do. Good call. He'll use those. It's not like it's an action card. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Ember's turn. Uh, I'm casting fireball, and to make sure I don't hit casting it. Yeah, just right here. So then yeah, it's, just it just gets right above him, not Yule. Okay. Um, no, because they're in the same. I'm casting it up, but I'm casting it over, so I don't hit you. Oh. Yeah. Um, twenty foot range, or is it thirty? So that is eight d six. Try and get past the spell resistance. Do I? Burn a card too. It's a, wait. It's a AOE. I thought yeah, it's, still, it's still a spell resistance though. Oh fucking a! He will yeah. get damaged by it, but he will not. Um, but he can still block it. <laughs> I'll burn that card. To add two d six. Two d six. Yeah. Um, Come on, let this one work. So there you go, now roll your 2d6 and you should get this fucker. Yeah. Okay, Someone. plus the 5 equals 36. That is enough to beat his spell resistance. There you oh, go. Finally. Good job. 8d6, right? Mm hmm. Yep. And he has to roll for half damage. Yeah. What's your Fucking reflex save? Eight. 25. What's the save? Uh, your ten plus your intelligence modifier plus three. That's a third it's level a reflex. What's the save? It's ref um, ten plus my intelligence modifier. You said plus yeah, five. plus the spell level, which is three. So it's thirteen so, plus your intelligence modifier, which is six. So nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, he failed his save. Nice. So he takes 25 points of fire damage. He takes five. Oh, oh he's got he's got resistance to it. <laughs> as it's going to hit him, you see it just weaken as it approaches him. 
Yeah, he's got resistance, that fucker. Yes. I hate this thing. I really do. He prepared. Mind, mind, <laughs> mind flayers, or I mean, they're. You know, I know. I, I hate mine. Just as he, you prepared for him. He prepared for you. You may have only slightly burn him, but I guarantee he's toast. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> you know what? You wouldn't heal me, so I'm not laughing at your cheesy puns anymore. <laughs> Hey, you're he down really to five. Just... You're you're down to five out of eighty-three. A one d eight plus one will get you back in the fight. Let's see how it is. You just stockpile you... those those sour grapes to eat all game, don't you? Just right oh, yeah. next to you. you so... and, and you guys wonder why I don't use my action <laughs> cards on you guys because you know you don't use them on yourself. That's when we're like, there hey, you Paul, use yeah. an action card hits. to help yourself, and you're like, no. Yeah, there you go. That's why. <laughs> What's the damage? And it hits successfully. Ooh. 25? 25? Yeah. And as you strike him, he falls to the ground and splashes into the water. Good. The, the higher he rolls, just means the bigger he splash it makes he when he dies. Yeah, he just... <laughs> no one touch the water just in case there's worms in there. Okay, Paul, can you kind of take a reclining appearance and hold one hand up in the air so I can do the flying down like God reaching down to man painting thing on you? I just remembered. How long does fly last? Minutes, Sammy. Okay. Sometimes I don't know the, the things like uh, you do. We're not. We're not out to. We're not out to swindle you. Oh, I know. Remember. I trust you, Paul. <clears throat> Plus, I can easily look this up if you're lying. So. Exactly. That's why there's no point lying to you. <laughs> and I always tend to look these things up. <laughs> Whoa! He's that dead. Was... Oh, yep. thank you. Well, thank you. And I'm now completely out of clerical spell points. Oh, that was so funny when he just... Not only does he have this placement on, he also had stone skin. <laughs> well, Unless he had some kind of fire resistance, too. No, that's actually still in effect. No. <laughs> it's not him that's applying the fire resistance. It's the room. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I actually he, the room also got him bones on save, but it still wouldn't have been enough. So, who's waiting into the ooze pool to pull him out? I will. No, use your bow to hook pull him out. Don't put any living parts in there. I'll take it. Well, I mean, does his body disintegrate or when it's in the water? A spear. Sammy. No, it's actually floating near the top. Well, half. Yeah, of I'm, it. Not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to worry about it. I you, will. There might I be will take. I will clarify this. I will take my left pinky finger only, and slowly dip it into the water just to, just to make sure it's not going to harm me. Uh, let me check. Yeah, your your finger disintegrates until you're all gone. <laughs> Was it really? No. <laughs> oh, say damn! That's okay. So I mean, nothing, like, nothing happens. Yeah, you touch it, but uh, just a ripple of water. That's about it. Okay, yeah, it's just a green colored water. Effect when the worms infect people, because we don't know yet, do we? Well, his looks like his body's near the edge. I'll just lean over and just drag yeah. him out. Yeah, do nothing happens. You just fish him out. Silver, stop. Always have to do stuff the hard way. You do take notice of things well, moving around in the water, though. Fish? You can't really tell. The water is. You would have to make a decently high per perception check to really notice. I will. I'll make a perception check since I'm looking in the water. If you tell us, we can all look too. Like, hey guys, there's something in the water, and then when Silver goes to look, I'm gonna play a prank on her and, dunk, and push her head in the water. Make an no, I'm joking. I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just fucking with her. I got a 23 in my perception. Uh, you can't really identify exactly what's happened, but you do notice small things swimming around. Well, since we're not in combat and we're not in a hurry, I'll just keep... I'll spend a few minutes just trying to look and figure out what's going on. It seems like tadpoles. Tadpoles? Okay. okay. Little things are swimming around in the water. Oh, that's an altar in the water there, isn't it? What then? This uh, stone thing? Is that an altar of some kind? That? Eh. Yeah. Uh, is there a knowledge we can roll? 
25 yeah, knowledge one enough one to know to that they're baby mind flayers? Uh, you could roll the check. That's what you're saying, which one? What do you want to roll for? Knowledge to figure out what the fuck is swimming in there. Knowledge... whatever the hell That's I what did. I'm asking you. What, what do we have to roll for knowledge? 29? Engineering? Dungeoneering. Oh, I can roll Dungeoneering. I have ranks in that. Uh, my Dungeoneering, I got a 29. Joe, you got a 29 as well, I believe? Yep. I got a 20. Yeah, okay. Okay. You cannot identify... Ember cannot identify what they are. Well, actually, I don't think any... I don't even think it really needs a spell. These things are infants. Can I take a 20 on that? I mean, or... A, uh, can I... Knowledge checks, you can't, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, you basically all identify these are basically infants mind flares. I'll destroy them. <laughs> if you're gonna tell us, then I'll help destroy them. Yeah. Okay. Also, yeah, I should those... um, give you experience for killing this guy. And we are gonna rest here. Actually, no, we can just go back to the city and rest. We're not far from town, I don't think. Or I can okay. fly up to this balcony to see what's up there before my fly spell ends. That's not a bad idea. For all intents and purposes, you're free to do whatever the heck you want. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back. Just give me a moment to um throw is up XP. That, is that connect it is that is that connected to where we were? Is are those doors that we didn't know about? I told you there was doors there. I did not hear that before. Uh you probably overlooked it because you're paying attention to the thing in the pool. No, I, I didn't see it because box the black blocks were covering it and so you just took it off. That's why I was saying is I can't believe there are doors there. I didn't know that. Oh. Um and I didn't hear you say it, it must have been one of the times your mic cut out. Yeah. Um and this thing um you destroyed the uh, the creatures in the pool, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because you did that you autom- you get awarded XP. Yeah, okay. So that will be added on to what you get to a for a total of Four thousand. One thousand. Okay. Four. Stuff in this pool. Oh, four thousand. Oh, 4, nice. Four thousand. That XP gave you ha- that. Um, the killing of creatures in the pool gave you half of that. Damn, nice. Wow. If there's stuff in, uh, is this a pool up here? And if so, are there stuff in here too? Because we want to kill this too. That's a bench, and that's clear water. No, wait. Actually, if you peer into the water, um, you actually see the last boss dude you killed. Mm-hmm. Spellcraft. The one down below? Yes. Spellcraft. Yeah, this the, the mind flare we just killed you? This pool right here shows you the image of the dungeon place you were in before and shows you oh, the okay. double ganger place. The specifically where the boss dude was. So... You can identify a scrying spell. Water is the pool. Women's bathhouse. It shows you. It, it just goes back to normal water. So the cleric's trying to spy on naked women in the the shower room. Got it. Yeah, too bad for him. It only worked. Oh wait, it's clairvoyance, not scrying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you must also. Your I think your clairvoyance works, but the only places you know of. So it shows him the outside door of the woman's bathhouse because he doesn't know what the inside looks like? Yes, it shows him a bathhouse. <laughs> well, let, me, let me help you out. Men's bathhouse, and then look away. <laughs> Just leave it on that setting for her. <laughs> okay, it shows a men's bathhouse. You know, my other characters would all blush and look away, but this one actually will go sit there and look for a while, so... It shows the outside of a men's bathhouse. If you give me a boost up with the fly spell, I'll I'll go look. You could just walk around to the doorway. Eh. You see the outside of a men's bathhouse. Not the inside? He knows what the inside looks like. Yes, but he specified men's bathhouse. He never said inside it. Oh, I thought you said the inside. No, he just said bathhouse, so it went to a bathhouse. Damn. (laughs) I'll I'll yell to him, hey, you want to clarify here? Oh, yeah, that balcony is 45 feet up from the floor. Yeah, that's why I said I needed to boost up. (laughs) 
Okay. Uh, did Mind Flayer have anything valuable or magic on him? I was wondering if anybody was going to do that. <laughs> you pulled him out yeah. for the pull. <laughs> okay. So he has... I'm assuming you're using the monocle, for, the artificial's monocle for this. So he has yeah. a Boots of Elven Kind, which I... Wait, do. if you want me to write this down, hold on. Let me pull up the thingy. What the freak does this even do again? Booties of Elven Kind. Uh, right. Gives you a bonus to your move silent. Uh, uh, kind. Oh man, this okay. would work for Paul. How how many boost for silent? Bo- Paul, we got a uh, an item that boosts um, self checks. Oh nice. How how I don't much? Know why he has this? Kind? He doesn't do any stealth. Huh? I don't know why this guy has it. What's the item? Players are all about sneaky. Boots of Elven Kind. How? What's the plus on that? I don't know. Plus five. Plus five. Okay. All right. What else? I'm gonna take those. Wait, that's actually a plus five. Yeah, it's plus five to stealth checks. If you already have sneaky boots on, I'll take the ones you're taking off. I don't have any magical boots of any kind on. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the next thing? Uh, let's see. He had a cloak of resistance plus two. Well, actually, it broke that one real fast. <clears throat> Saving the weight. We we combine hide and move silently into into one skill. Yeah. The boots actually help with move silently, while there's a cloak of elven kind, which adds the same bonus to to hide. So I mean, do you want to just say just add plus five to stealth, and then I mean, I'm not sure how you want to handle that. Since they both, to get the full confidence bonus, you will need both items. Okay, cool. For now, I will count it as a plus three. You have both. You have the cloak and the boots. No, 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 no. It's just both those items exist. It's just they're made with separate skills. But since he's combining it, that's why I wasn't sure how it's going to work. Yeah, in the the event I do get both. So, plus three bonus I would just add now. the plus ten, then, because, I mean... Alright, so what else? Cloak of Resistance, plus, plus two. two. Which would... I don't... Th- I think it overlaps with uh, Greater Spell Resistance. No, yeah, they won't stack. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, do they we stack? Can... No. You guys, we can work that out after. I just want to get the list okay. down first before he we has get anything. a key on oh, Stop him. being so practical. He has a key... <laughs> So, um, what was that? I, I just heard key, and then and that's then what blurb. it is. It's a key. He has a key, an actual physical key. Okay. The thing you open doors with. I'll take the key since I'm the real one party. Okay. He has okay. a ring of counter spells with D spell magic on it. Spells. This is the item he had. D-spell? I told you about. What is D spell? Oh, it basically means this spell magic. Oh. If you get targeted by Dispel, this ring will dispel it for you. Okay. This is the item I told you about that he has, which would basically be useless for him. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what else? He has one potion of Cure Serious Wounds, plus an empty bottle of one. Okay. A necklace of fireballs, type 3. So, fireballs... Type three, okay. Lesser in power, meta magic rod. In power, meta magic wand. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Uh, basically, means you can apply in power to spells freely. Oh, okay. Or three times a game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Boots of Elven. Wait, that works three times a day. You said. Yeah, but it's yeah. currently been emptied already. Oh, so we have to. Uh, empower it again, re- no, recharge it again. It um, every day it recharges. Oh, it recharges. Oh, you mean it's three times the a day. Empowerment for the day has been used. okay. Yeah. I thought you meant that it was depleted and we had to get it recharged no, before we could use it three times a day. Okay. And All right. And I think that's everything. <clears throat> okay, so boots of Elenkind plus five, cloak of resistance plus two. 
a key, a ring of counter spells with dispel magic on it, one potion of cure serious wounds, necklace of fireballs, type three, lesser empower meta magic wand three times a day. Um, Ezekiel wants the boots. Ezekiel. It's a um, the boots give you only plus three silver. Okay. Because okay. you need both items so. to get the full bonus. Okay. Um. Uh. Cloak of resistance. I wouldn't mind taking that because I don't think I have anything. But. Um, <clears throat> it's fine. I don't care. Does anyone need it more? Or? No. Go yeah. ahead. I'm surprised it doesn't overlap with uh, the greater spell resistance. Because it gives the same bonus. That's why it doesn't. Be nice, but I'll take the Nicholas Fireballs. Can you actually use it? Just pull off of anybody can use it. Yeah, just pull it off a bead okay. and just throw it at the enemy. It acts and as fireball. Uh, there's a chance they all go off simultaneously while it's around your neck. What? If is there? Yeah. Oh, if something hits you. Oh, that's right. That's what happened with the other guy. Yeah, he detonated himself. Um, yeah, we we actually saw one of the NPCs detonate himself before on purpose to try and take us all out. It nearly or was killed it you. Accidentally. Huh? It nearly killed you. Yeah, it nearly killed me. The item is allowed to save, though, to stop the detonating. Yeah, it's terrible when somebody loses their head. <laughs> uh, I'll take the Ring of Counter Spells. You cannot change the spell that's currently in it. That's okay. I don't mind having spell magic. If it, if someone tries to cast something on me, it'll dispel it, right? No, when dispel magic is cast on you, that is dispelled. Oh. Yeah. So the Ring of well, Counter it, Spells is literally set on dispel magic, period. Actually, Sammy, if someone tries to cast dispel magic on her, the, the, aim, the item counters that with its own dispel magic. It doesn't automatically succeed. You still have to roll out a post cast level, which I have to see who wins. Uh, it does automatically succeed. You can counter a spell with a spell with the same spell, and it just automatically does it. Yeah. You aren't using the dispel magic to cast dispel magic as a counter spell. It's counter spelling dispel magic. Oh, I thought it. Oh, I thought she had a roll post cast for little checks. Never mind. But it only works on that specific spell. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. And you don't even nice. need knowledge of it being activated either. Um. You'll. Do you want to give? Uh, the Cure series with Ezekiel because it seems like he usually gets himself in places he needs it. Well, that worked good because he could take it as part of his treasure and then when he never uses it, we can just pick it off his corpse <laughs> later. <clears throat> That's, true. That's true. What's his item again? Uh, one potion of Cure serious Wounds. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking it, but like I said, it seems like you kind of run face first into a lot of stuff. Okay. So... Yeah, I'll take the rod. Uh, okay. They well, explain you how that works. Lesser empower magic, meta magic wand. Um, three times per day, you can empower any spell uh, level zero through three. Yeah. Yeah, at half again the damage. Yeah. Or that half again, well, you don't feel any, but yeah. <laughs> yeah I thought it was something like that, but I was exactly. I can okay. also use it for first or third level cure spells. Um, well, I have no problem passing it back to you uh, after a battle to use for. Um, well, the thing is, though, after a battle, so, if we need to, I'm not trying to claim it. Charges. It does do other things. Yeah, no, no. Improve damage. No, yeah, I'm, silver, yeah, I'm yeah, saying I don't I'm mind. Real. We can use it after if we need to. So out of combat, though, he can just spam cure minor to bring us to full. That's true. Alright. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do that if we are going in some place and you don't have many points left during a battle. Just remind me and I'll give it to you instead. Um, I guess... Uh, good for this time if you like going in. If Since you didn't have many healing points left, I could have given... If we'd had the wand already, I mean, I could have used that to, to get the most out of a lesser, you know, casting or something. Camp out points. up in the pool room, barricade the door to the room, camp out. 
Okay. There's no door. Turn your everybody up to full. Sorry? There's no door here. No, barricade There's... the other door. He's talking about the upper balcony part. Oh, it's that's right. It's, a, it's not a scrying pool. It's a clear void. Okay. Yeah. Why are you camping there? Well, we can have it. We can have it cycling and showing us the inside of the dungeon just to make sure that we don't have anything sneaking up on us, too. I mean, I think there's only, what, the balcony that doesn't have doors to close off, so we'll just have it focused on the other room to make sure nothing's trying to sneak up. And every once in a while, have it show us the other doors. Is we the water, show us is the the water the in that pool... Too, the water in that pool is nice and clean, isn't it? Yes. That's not, it's not going to be here shortly. You're Don't the... pee in the pool. I well, I can't. I'm not intentionally going to pee in the pool. I was going to bathe in the pool, but <laughs> how about you scoop water out and bathe in the other room, and then that way, you know, you don't dirty know. the whole pool. Because we want to use the pool. You have an don't... inn back to go to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why, why don't we just head back to town? Is the entire dungeon clear? Let's. I don't know where the, the key pool. goes. Let's use the pool to search around for, um... Oh, it only shows us what we already know, but we show we know the other rooms, so... Why don't we have it show us the other rooms and we'll look for, um... Treasure chests or locks or things. Paul, can you roll me an intelligence check plus a perception check? Um, which do you want first? Just type them in chat what you get for each. Is that <clears throat> snake lady already dead in the other... No, she's taking a nap. Intelligence check, I got a 15. <laughs> and then my perception check, I got a 21. You happen to notice oh. a door right there. Oh, I, we can't, I, it's hard, we can't tell because the map's kind of... Yeah, we can't yeah, see I with can't the black, see a Sammy, that's the problem. Yeah. I tried revealing it better, but I thought it, I thought it was. I can kind of no, see it now that you're pointing it out, but... Yeah, I'll take. I'll go over to the door. I'll take the key I found on him. Like, oh, wish me luck. I would stand back. Actually, just to play it safe, just because it's a mind flare, I will actually search it for traps. I will draw my bow and arrow to cover him. And oh, my search uh, check was really. How about high. we heal you first before you go in? Okay, you spam cure lights on us, or like uh, I got no zeros? spell points left. Oh, um. All right, we'll do your mind zero. one per round. That's what I was going to say. Just spam the, the no cost on us until we're full up. That'll take like 10, 20 minutes. We have the time. Points. Or we can do first aid. Do you want Do you first want to just first aid and you. hope for the best? That only Why wouldn't you're first dying. aid help? No, you can get points back from first aid. It's very slow, but you can do it. Well, zero level spells don't cost points. Yeah, he's saying it can take 20 minutes. I'm saying we could also first aid while we're doing it, too, to help speed it up. <clears throat> well, I'll be, just stand back. I got a 26 I'm... and 19 is 45 in my search check. You found an unlocked door. Does a door pull into this room we're in, or does it push into the next room? It doesn't say, so I'm just going to say you pull it. I'll open the door and kind of stand behind the door as I open it, just in case an arrow comes through, gets ready to come flying out. Then if nothing happens, I'll move into the room. That's why you use a mirror to look around corners. It's very good. That's not a bad idea. That's why I do. It. That's why all my characters carry a chunk of mirror, just so you can slide it under gaps and look under things or look around corners and stuff without getting hit. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I usually carry a bit of wax okay. or something too from a candle so you can um, stick it to things and like a um, a stick or a part of the, the bow to extend the mirror to without putting your head through or your hand. Okay, the room contains a desk, two bookshelves full of books, and that's that's about all. <laughs> A desk. I it's... will take twenty search. I will take twenty search in the entire room. You found a chest. Okay, locked, trapped. Yeah, you searched it. It you don't. You just find it locked. I will use the key I found on him to see if it opens the the chest. Pop. Nice. Is there anything in it? Okay, in the desk contains 
large bags. The bags contain a total of 950 copper. You broke up again. Large bags Nine, of what? 950 coppers in one bag. Coin 950 copper? 220 okay. silver. 220. How much silver? 920 or 220? 220. Oh, okay. We're right there, babe. 220 silver, and then anything else? 20 SP. And I'm just going to put it in chat. There. 300 gold and 25 platinum. Nice. Oh, nice. And a fifth bag. Do I, do I find anything else of importance, like documents? Um, One moment. You also find a fifth bag containing... Gemstones totaling 1,500 in value. Nice. 1,500 total? Yes. Yeah, we need to divide up the money when we get back to town later and sell it, uh, add up the stuff we sold and, and stuff and divide it up so we can buy gear before we do anything else later. Okay. All right. Paul, what's the languages you read? I mean, you understand. <clears throat> Common, Elven, Celestial, Gnome, Halfgleen, Sylvan, Orin, Orc, Draconic. And that's actually, and then, hold on, is that? And then also under Common. What is your intelligence? How do you know? My intelligence modifier is plus eight. My intelligence score is twenty six. Uh, I put my highs. Yeah. Uh, what's the miscellaneous? Miscellaneous. On your character sheet, it says you have a plus one miscellaneous. Under. Let me, hold, let me look. I should see what you're talking about. Like, what part of the character sheet are you looking at? Your intelligence. Oh, it's it was my um, level four, like at level four when you get an ability, a permanent ability increase. You do realize that does not give you more languages, right? I thought you learned the new bonuses language. Bonuses for every language. Start. Oh, in that case. But if he's smarter, he should be able to learn more languages after. No. If he took the time to learn the language, it would. And then get rid Why of uh, self teach the one you just learned. Get rid of uh, work then. Actually, Maybe now that's I think... what he does every night before he goes to bed. He learns more language. Actually, no, he's got a point. I, that's what I now that I think about it. That's what the um, Under speak la speak language skill is for. Yeah, didn't you just uh, learn? I'm assuming you picked up Undercommon from that because Undercommon's not on this list right oh, here. Oh, yeah, good point. So. Under common, then. Okay. Okay. I speak Elven, Draconic, Sylvan, Slavon, and Auron. Okay, I went through those. all your languages. You cannot read a paper that is, seems very important on the desk. Well, God damn it! I'm gonna learn uh, Undercommon when we get back to I'm town. Gonna... I'm gonna back when we level. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy two ranks in the speak language skill, so I can officially, technically, have Undercommon as a skill. I'm trying to see if you don't I know have... if it's undercommon. It could be something else. Well, I want to learn it anyways. That's just the language I want. Eh, it's a good language to have. Just because we deal with so many aberrations, it'd be it'd be good to know it just in case. Is it well, magic? Or no, it's just um... written in a different language. <laughs> just like you need, you need... to... read I magic won't to... help. You need to cast uh, either. You need to cast Compre comprehend languages. That's what I'm trying to see. I thought I took it, but I don't see it on my list right I'm trying to figure out. I Joe, do you know it? it tomorrow. It's, I'm a cleric, so I get all the cleric spells. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do I find any... Okay, we find that book. I'll let Joe hold on to the book. Do we find anything else? Uh, it's a ledger, not a book. No, ledger. It's a ledger, oh. which has let a lot of stuff written in it, but... All right, so... What paper, paper and book wise, we found, you said there was a couple of papers and a ledger, right? Yeah, you find a bunch of papers that you cannot read. Okay, so we're taking the ledger and papers. Uh, you said there were books 
too, besides the legend papers, or no? Oh, yeah, he has bookshelves full of books. Um, I'm going to scan through them and see what types of titles they are and if we can read them or not. The his- uh, They all seem to be in common, and they seem to be between, like, the history of Free City, the war of... a bunch of stuff about Free City. Um, I'm not going to give you details I'm... because I don't have them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask the guys to uh, help me rifle through the books just to make sure there's no papers hidden in them or that none of the books are emptied out with um, things as hidden fl- in, inside the books. As you're flipping through the pages, you're wondering why you're doing this. <laughs> because some people carve out the inside of the pages and make a hole and hide stuff in there. Yes, so. that may be true, but you also have to make sure that the people have to expect people will get there. All you have to do is take the book, turn it upside down, and shake it and see what falls out. It takes all of, like, ten minutes for all three of us to do it. That's assuming they I help put you. my hand behind the bookshelf and just tip the whole thing forward. <laughs> Done. Can you hear me clapping? That's not helpful. <laughs> so there's nothing else in, in all of the room? Besides that stuff we wrote down? Uh, no, they're just some gold and the, and the papers. And nothing uh, hidden under the desk and stuff. No magic. This seemed to be like a little study. And you killed his yes, I'm, ta- I'm, I'm taking 20 searching the entire room. That includes secret passages, secret compartments. I could show you the entire map, but then again, what would be the point? Fair enough. Mind flayers are sneaky bastards. That's why we're being extra careful. Want to grab um, five of the books that looked interesting? <laughs> you got some. Are any of them first editions? We could sell them for money. They are completely worthless. Not even worth. They're worth about a copper. <laughs> well, four of them looked like interesting books to read, and the other had really soft pages. <laughs> they are very interesting paper books to read. Then. Stuff like history and stuff I about the free city. I think trying to stay in case we run out of toilet paper. <laughs> there are leaves in the uh, forest for that. That's why he has the book. They're self-contained. Guess who does more damage now at level 9? 